Right, we are here and uh, we want to write down the proofs to these particular two trigonometric identities using the Moivre's theorem. Right, we need, we need to prove that cosine three theta equals four cosine cubed theta minus three cosine theta. We also need to prove that sine three theta equals minus four sine cubed theta plus three sine theta. And we present the proofs um, as follows. Right, so to present uh, the actual solution to these, we need to take note of the fact that if we have cosine three theta plus uh, I, the sine of three theta, and this is actually equal to cosine theta plus I sine theta cubed, like so. And uh, this here is uh, actually what you call De Moivre. Right, um, this is what you call De Moivre's theorem. Okay, like so. Right, let's proceed right now with the actual um, um, solution, but also we perform here a binomial expansion. So this equals cosine theta plus i sine theta cubed. And this is cosine cubed plus 3i cosine squared theta sine theta. And uh, this becomes also minus 3 here cosine theta by using the binomial theorem sine squared theta. Okay, and uh, here we have uh, minus i sine cubed theta. Okay, now we're looking at the real parts. So this is cosine cubed minus 3 cosine theta sine squared theta, right, like so. And we have plus i into three cosine squared theta. You can write the one at the bottom, let's see. Right, let's just write it at the bottom here. Right, so we have uh, that if we group the real parts, Right, so we have uh, these particular real parts and we've managed to group them, these two. And then we have uh, plus i into three cosine squared theta, sine theta minus sine cubed theta. Okay, so we have the real parts and then the imaginaries. Okay, now what is the meaning of this? Right, so this is true, and this uh, hence uh, has the following implication. The implication is therefore that we have, if we have cosine three theta plus i, the sine of three theta. Right, we've already seen that uh, by using the binomial theorem and uh, grouping like terms, etc., uh, real parts and imaginary parts. This is a cosine cubed theta. Okay, so we can see that it's cosine cubed theta minus three cosine theta sine squared theta minus three cosine theta sine squared theta plus i into three cosine squared theta sine theta. minus sine cubed theta. Okay, this is what we have. And then now we proceed to compare the real parts and imaginary parts. So comparing. Right, comparing. Comparing the real and the imaginary. 
right imaginary paths. Right. So we have a cosine three theta. <laughs> right, so cosine three theta is gonna be equal to this part here. It's gonna be equal to cosine cubed minus three cosine theta sine squared theta, and then sine three theta is gonna be equal to um three cosine squared theta sine theta minus sine cubed theta. So write that one down. So cosine uh three theta is then equal to cosine cubed. Minus three cosine theta sine squared. What about sine three theta? It is three cosine squared. Um, sine theta. Sine cubed theta. Thus, right now, looking at the fact that cosine cubed theta minus three cosine theta sine squared theta is actually what cosine three theta equals. So we write that one down and analyze that. Cosine three theta is equal to cosine cubed theta minus three. Cosine theta, sine squared theta. Cosine three theta is cosine cubed minus three um, cosine theta, one minus cosine squared this, okay? Because sine squared is one minus cosine squared. So that cosine three theta Minus three cosine theta plus three cosine cubed theta. And this now, if you add these two here, it's four cosine cubed theta minus three cosine theta. So cosine three theta is four cosine cubed theta minus three cosine theta. Also, We focus now at, we focus on the sine of three theta. And we know here that sine three theta is actually equal to three cosine squared, sine theta minus sine cubed. You write that one down. Three cosine squared, sine theta minus sine cubed. Which means that we have sine three theta is equal to three. Okay, what is the cosine squared? It is one minus sine squared theta by using the Pythagorean identity or the squares identity. Okay, um, cubed here, theta. Okay, or here we have the cubed theta. So that um, the sine three theta. By expansion here, what do we get? Which is three sine theta minus three sine cubed theta minus sine cubed theta. Meaning that the sine of three theta is equal to minus four sine cubed plus three sine theta. Okay, we yeah, are so this what we get. And the, therefore, right, therefore, um, cosine three theta, is equal to four cosine cubed minus three cosine theta. Sine three theta cos uh, sine cubed 
plus 3 centimeter. So, yeah, this is what we have. Okay, now this is uh, what we have here. And uh, we have been able to prove these particular uh, identities using the results we know. We have been able to prove these two identities using uh, what we call De Moivier's theorem. Um, okay, so yeah, we are done proving these uh, uh, identities, these two trigonometric identities using what you call De Moivier's theorem. And we're excited to have proven this. So yeah, thanks everybody for um for joining us and for watching and goodbye to you. <laughs>